peace and love it's Maya and welcome to gentle soul flow today's class is going to be focusing on stretching the spine we will get into postures that will be accessible for all levels catered specifically towards each area of the spine that being the low back middle back and upper back so let's get into it we're going to start off in a comfortable seated pose Legs can be crossed or you can extend them out in front of you. Take a nice deep inhale and lift the crown towards the ceiling. And exhale, roll the shoulders down the spine. Now first focus on the breath. I want you to take a big inhale and expand the belly like a balloon. On your exhale, bring your belly button towards the spine and pull it in. Good. Now continue that motion, inhaling to expand and exhaling to draw it in. Continue the breath and begin to center yourself in the here and the now. However you're showing up on the mat today, honor it and invite a sense of self-awareness into the body and into the mind. We're gonna take our hands by our sides and get into a side stretch. So fingertips are nice and rooted, spine is straight. Flip your left palm up, take an inhale and stretch it towards the ceiling. On your exhale, slowly bend toward your right. Take a little micro bend in the right elbow as you reach over. Good. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, release it down. Switching sides, flip your right palm up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, relax it down. Same motion, over onto the opposite arm. And kind of find your own flow going back and forth from one side to the other. Move with your breath. Think about breathing into all the spaces of the rib cage and into the sides of the back. A couple more times. Rooting the hips into the mat and getting as long as you can in that side body. Act as if something's pulling your pinky and you're breathing all the way into that hip crease. And once you've evened it out on both sides, I want you to come back to a neutral spine. Good. Now bring the hands to the front of the knees. With a nice straight spine, start to poke the chest towards the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, open the throat. On your exhale, round the spine. Press the middle of the back towards the back of the room. Tuck the chin. Inhale. Open the chest, open the heart, open the throat, lean forward, and exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. So we're moving through what's known as cat-cow spine, as a seated cat-cow. So continue to move with your breath. You can go as fast or as slow as you want to. And then we'll start to find some movements in circles. So rolling around in the hips, around in the spine. Take it small at first, and then start to make the circles bigger. You get to choose the pace of which you are moving in your circles. You can add a bit of that cat-cow movement where you are opening your chest and curling it back. And 
good and then switch sides opposite direction just rolling it out and finding your own dance good maybe you add the neck movement too to get up into the upper back And then to even it out, come back to a neutral spine. We're going to come to bring just the right leg out to the side. So stretch that right leg out. Bring the left foot to the inner right thigh. Nice and rooted into the hips. Start to relax the right hand on the leg. Gently grazing it down your thigh, down your calf. And then twist your chest towards the left. Reach the left arm from behind you. Inhale, stretch it up. And on the exhale, side bend towards your right foot. Rotate the chest towards the ceiling. One long line of energy from the left pinky down to the left hip crease. Breathe. On your exhale, maybe you get a little deeper. Good. Inhale, stretch it back up with the left arm. And then twist to bring the left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Nice and rooted into the hips. Swing that right arm behind you and plant the fingertips right behind the bum. Take a nice deep inhale, straighten the spine. And on your exhale, twist at the core. Inhale. On your exhale, twist a little deeper. Maybe slide that left hand down the leg. And you can walk the right fingertips back. So as we twist the spine, we're compressing the organs in our belly so as we wring it out we are resetting the spine and our digestive system good take your gaze back forward and then slowly bring it back to neutral and then we're going to do one last on this leg as you bring the torso over the right thigh Take an inhale, stretch the arms up towards the ceiling, nice and tall. On your exhale, lead with the chest, slowly relax the hands on opposite sides of the leg. Inhale, lift the chin towards the toes. And on your exhale, melt down, always leading with the chest. So try not to round the spine and put a lot of pressure in the middle back and upper back, leading with the chest allows that belly to get closer to the thighs. Keep the foot engaged. A couple more breaths here, using every exhale to melt a little deeper into your posture. Now yoga is more than just the movement. So as you are in these poses, from a physical standpoint, Relax into it and start to acknowledge what's coming up in the mental and in the emotional state. Notice what's tight and bring your breath to those areas. And then slowly lift the head. Gently walk the hands back towards the hips, straighten the spine. And let's switch sides. Draw the right foot in and extend the left leg out. Same thing here, right foot to the inner left thigh. Bum nice and rooted, nice straight spine. Good. Left hand relaxes on the leg, slowly slide it down, twist the chest towards your right. Right palm flips up, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, side bend towards your left. 
keep the integrity of the spine. Try not to crouch into it, but twist the chest toward the ceiling. Reach those right fingertips toward your left. Breathe into that right rib cage. Expand it. And exhale, get a little deeper. Good. Inhale, reach that right arm back up. Exhale, twist to bring the right hand to the outer left thigh. Left hand creeps behind you onto your fingertips or on the palm. Inhale, straighten the spine. Exhale, twist at the core. Inhale, nice straight spine. Exhale, get a little deeper. Maybe slide that hand down the leg. One more inhale. Can you look past the left shoulder? Good. Now look forward, slowly rotate and reset. And then twist the torso over the left thigh. Inhale, stretch the arms up. On your exhale, lead with the chest, slowly curling belly over the thigh. Make the adjustments, pick the head up, chest up. On your exhale, slowly curl down. Inhale. Can you get a little deeper on your exhale? Think about breathing into the low back, more so in the right, into that kidney space. Couple more breaths. And then look forward, walk the hands back to neutral, neutral spine. Draw the left foot in and let's come into butterfly. So targeting directly into the hips so we get into our low back. Hands come around the toes. Take an inhale, straighten the spine. Then on your exhale, lead with the chest, bringing the elbows to the inner thighs and curling down. We're holding here, fluid breath. Make an effort to match your inhale with your exhale. Can you press those knees open any deeper? Good, slowly straighten the spine back to neutral. Hands come on the outsides of the hips. Close the knees and we're coming into staff pose. So extend the legs out in front of you. And first, pop just the toes. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And relax the toes. And then wiggle the ankles. Wiggle the feet from side to side and feel it in your ankles. And then relax the ankles. Pop the knees. Relax the knees. Good. And then root onto your hips and create a nice straight back. So lift from the core center. Squeeze the muscles that are between the rectum like your anus and your genitals, you have that space. So kind of as, as if you are preventing from peeing, squeeze those muscles up and in, squeeze them, hold them, plant the hands by your side, and lift the crown towards the ceiling, towards the sky, fingers nice and rooted. So the hands by the sides just gives you a brace to keep that spine nice and straight. Flex the toes, separate the toes. Now breathe through the belly. Inhale to expand and exhale to draw it in. A few more breaths. Keep lifting out of the hips. And then 
Relax the glutes, relax the arms. Take an inhale, stretch the arms forward and up. Bend the knees and then lead with the chest, relaxing the belly onto the thighs. So bend the knees as much as you need to in order to do this. Relax the hands to the outsides of the legs. Take an inhale, chest is forward. On your exhale, slowly roll it down. Try not to have any space between the belly and the thighs. So however bent the knees need to be in order to do this, get that there. And then with every exhale, slowly straighten the legs. Use as many exhales as you need to to find your limit. And you have the option to just have the arms relaxed by your side. Or you can reach the hands for the toes, for the ankles, or for the outsides of the feet. With every exhale, try to straighten the legs a little more without disconnecting the belly from the thighs. So here we are stretching the back, and in particular, our low back. But with the knees bent, it takes the pressure off of our hamstrings to make the pose more accessible. If you have the space between the belly and the thighs, we kind of see this motion where we're rounding the spine. So it's less about curling down and more about the belly on the thighs and curling in and forward. Couple more breaths. When you're ready, nice and gently walk the hands back towards the legs, straight in the spine. Ah, now let's roll the shoulders in the opposite directions. Again, another dance. If you know me, you know I like to dance. So incorporating little micro movements of dance is my thing. So go in opposite direction, drop the head if you'd like, roll it all around, give the body what it's longing for. All right, so we're going to make our way onto our hands and knees. So swivel the legs around, pop up onto your hands and knees, and we're coming into puppy pose. So the knees are directly under our hips, and then coming onto the forearms. The shoulders start when they are parallel with the elbows. But we're going to take the knees a little bit wider than the hips to make this more accessible. Send the booty back, and then start to walk the arms forward. Inch them forward and bring the forehead to the mat, or if you are using any props like a block to bring the ground closer to you, then do that. And then make an effort to keep your knees directly in line with your hips. Separate your sit bones and deepen the arch in your back. Now, if you'd like to take this a little deeper, you can bring your chin to the mat and get all up into the upper back and shoulders. Couple more breaths here. Good. Now lift the head and then slowly shift to bring the belly onto the mat and the elbows directly under the shoulders. Sphinx pose. So plant the hands and zip the thighs together. Take an inhale, press into the palms, squeeze the glutes. Lift the elbows and look towards the ceiling. 
On your exhale, slowly bring it back down. Good. Now kick the elbows wide. Bring the hands directly under the shoulders. Squeeze the elbows by your side. And press all the way up and slide the left knee behind the left wrist. Heel toe the foot out. We're coming into pigeon pose. So the left shin, we want it to be almost parallel with the top of the mat. Of course, this is the effort, but it's all about where the body is today. So honor that. If the leg is barely parallel, 45 degrees or however, doesn't matter. It's about being in the posture and being committed to it. I like to rock a little from side to side to massage my hip crease. And then when you're ready, maybe you come down onto your forearms if that's accessible. You can also invite some props in here, a block or a book to raise the ground for you. For any one of you that are experiencing sciatic nerve pain, this is the perfect posture to be in. Press into the top of the left foot, lift that knee, sorry, top of the right foot, lift the knee, and release the knee back down. Maybe you inch it a little deeper. Then turn around, look back at the toes, make sure they're not curled in, they're pointed. If you'd like to get a little deeper, Send the elbows out wide, stack the hands or make fists, and come all the way down. And if this is enough for you, stay right here. If you'd like to add just a little more to this, you can stretch the arms out in front of you. Your preference, your practice, your flow. Think about breathing into the low back. Think about breathing into the areas inside of the glutes. Good. Now come on to the elbows and forearms. And then maneuver so that you can bring the left leg to the outside of the body. So lift, sweep that leg out, and come back down. So you want the knee to be about a 90 degrees or the hip to a 90 degrees. You can have it higher or lower. Uh, your preference here. Keep the hips plugged into the mat, and then you can relax your right cheek on the mat. Once you've settled into your pose, Relax every muscle. And invite a sense of peace and restoration. Hmm. A couple more breaths. And then slowly pop back onto the forearms and elbows. And slide that left leg back. Roll onto the hips. Elbows out. Plant the palms. Press up. And coming into the same thing, opposite side. Pigeon pose on the right. Heel toe that foot. Help it if you need to. Rock from side to side. Massage. And then slowly bring it down onto your forearms if you like. Everything is an invitation. No obligations. It's your flow. Press into the top of the left foot. Lift the kneecap. And then realign and settle. Get as deep as you can. Option to send the elbows out and stack the palms. Second option, reach those arms out in front of you. Thoroughly breathing in through the nose, 
out of the nose. Couple more breaths. And then let's pop back on to the elbows and forearms. And then same thing here, lift a little, sweep that right leg around. I just got a very vivid memory in high school of the crybaby. And that's what I just thought about. So if you're that old <laughs> and remember that, have a laugh. Alright, so let's bring it down and readjust that knee as much as you'd like until it's comfortable and then lay onto your right cheek or left cheek and relax into the pose. Couple more breaths. Gently come back onto your hands and elbows. Slide that right leg back. And then elbows out. Press the palms into the mat. Squeeze the elbows by your side. Press all the way back. And let's swivel it around to come onto our spine. This is the last pose that we will explore. Once you're on your back, slide the shoulder blades down the spine. And I'll give you two ways to get into this. Plow pose. Now this is a really deep posture. The first way to get into it would be to bring the knees towards the armpits. Reach the hands for the feet. Straighten the legs as much as you can. Maybe this is as far as you go with this. That's okay. But make an effort to straighten the legs as much as you can. Your bone will come off the mat and you'll kind of rock onto the back. It actually is a nice massage for the back. It's kind of playful. But find enough momentum to bring the feet overhead. And... Then you can bring the hands to the low back. Now you want to lift the bum as much as you can to try to stack the bum over the hips. Make an effort to keep the legs straight. Maybe plant the palms. So here is plow pose. You don't spend any more than 10 breaths in this posture. The other way to get into it which is a little bit more accessible, maybe. Um, just depends on where you are. Plant the feet, press into the elbows. Take an inhale. On your exhale, lift the bum as if you're coming in the bridge pose, and then bring the hands under the booty. And then send the knees up, over, and curl into it. And then you have your hands at your low back to give you that support. Slowly straightening the legs, lifting the bum. Hands can rest if you'd like. And once you've found no more than 10, slowly roll out of it. Ah. And then relax it all the way down into reclined butterfly. This is my offering as the final posture to rest in. Or you can choose to be seated. Or you can choose to be in a fetal pose or the legs out. Totally up to you. 
And you're also invited to bring your right hand to your belly, left hand to the chest, right at your heart center. And let it aid you into slowing the breath down even more. Be very intentional about breathing through the belly and through the chest space. And exhaling just as thoroughly. The breath is a life force energy. Let it soothe. Let it heal. Let it restore. Relaxing the arms by your side. Take a nice deep swallow. Meeting them with the eyes barely open. A drowsy gaze towards the ceiling or directly in front of you. Open the mouth wide. Wiggle that jaw from side to side. Relax the mouth. Relax every muscle. Peace be with you. Slowly curling out of whatever posture you're in. Coming into a seated pose. Nice deep inhale through the nose, through the belly. Exhale out the mouth. <sighs> I rest my hands at heart center. Namaste.